So now let's see how we can use the Edit Mess Tools plugin inside of Blender. So in order to use the plugin on my viewport, I'm going to press Shift A and under Mess, I'm going to bring in, let's say for example, a torus right here. Let me just go around into Add Torus and decrease the detail right here, just like this, uh, uh, because I don't want to make the work around too complex. So now in order to use the Edit Mess Tools, you need to go around into Edit they need to go to preferences right here. Once you go around into preferences, you can go around and type in edit. And over here, you can see edit mess tools is an option. Once you click on this, what happens is that the edit mess tools is enabled. So if I were to close this, I can go around and then expand this out by clicking on that small triangular icon. And over here, uh, you'll be able to access it. But before you can access it, you actually have to go around and then go into edit mode by pressing tab on your keyboard. Once you go around and you're on the edit mode, you can go around into edit and you can see mess tools is an option. So over here, you can see that there's different tools right here. So you can experiment around with this. So there's like vertices tool right here, there's S tool, there's face tool and utilities tool. So I'm going to go around right here and select out vertices as you can see. So I can go around into vert and there are different things as you can see. You can sample out the vert right here. You can see that there's sampling for the vertices as you do this. You can also extrude out the vertices right here, just like this, when I'm just going to press Ctrl Z. And over here, you can also randomize the vertices right here. So if I were to select out all the vertices right here, and let me just select these vertices, randomize vertices, we can go around and randomize them out over here as well. So I'm going to go around, random vertices right here, and you can see that this is how you can work around with it. Increase the minimum and maximum value, and you can also add around some noise to it. So I'm just going to go around and press outside right here. And this is what you have. Similarly, you got the S tool. So you can go around, select out edges. And on the S, you can offset out the edges right here. Or you can go around and then uh, use different things. Like uh, you can go around and then uh, extrude the edges over here as well. So you got the extrusion option. And you got the option right here as well. Similarly, for the face tool as well, you can go around, select out faces right here and then you can cut the faces right here. As you can see, you can go around right here. You can like uh, go around and then set the inset for faces right here. So you can set around inset for faces. You can also go around and extrude out individual faces that you selected as you can see right here. So that makes it easy right here. And in utilities, you can see you can subdivide right here, increase out the subdivision. So this really makes it easy to actually go around and work. You can triangulate the faces over here as well if you want to and so forth. So that is how you can go around. You can relax it out, make it smoother right here as you can see, and then select out all. You can go around, triangulate the faces, uh, or turn it into quad faces right here, tries to quad right here wherever possible. So you can see that everything can be done just like this. So that is how you can use the uh, edit mess tools plugin inside of blender so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe <laughs>